16 win sprint cars, the Texas Split Series, the 305s and 360 splits. Up next, and they're going to look like this. Starting on the pole tonight from Fort Worth, Texas, in the number 14B, that'll be Robert Byron with the number 01J of Jeb Sessoms from Burleson, Texas. The 74E from Godley, Texas, that'll be Claude, Claude Estes III with the number 82S from Hazlitt, Texas, of Austin Saunders. And the number 44 from Fort Worth, Texas, that'll be Jason Howell with the number 22 from Decatur, Texas, of Lucas Sherb. And the number V8 from Wolf City, Texas, that'll be Robert Vetter with the number 32K from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, that's Chris Kelly. In the number 35 from Millsap, Texas, that will be Jeff Emerson with the number 41M from Greenville, Texas, of Steve McMacken. In the number 41J, starting 11th from Godley, Texas, that will be Joshua Harner with the number 93 from Yukon, Oklahoma, that is Zachary Patterson. In the number 21, from Abilene, Texas, that'll be Michelle Parson, with the F41 from Fort Worth, Texas, of Landon Thompson. In the number 82C, from Fort Worth, Texas, that'll be Christian Kinnison, with the number 71, from Mansfield, Texas, of Colby Estes. In the number 18, from Decatur, Texas, that'll be Logan Sherb, with the number 7 from Joshua, Texas, of Jared Warhurst. In the number 41, from Dallas, Texas, that will be Casey Merrill in your final entrant in the number 99B. From Burleson, Texas, that's John Ricketts. 20 cars, 20 laps, your Texas Sprint Series A feature.
Christian Kinnison, Colby Estes, Logan Cherub, Jared Warhurst, Casey Merrill, and John Ricketts ready to do battle. 20 laps for the A featured Texas Sprint Series. The Texas Sprint Invitational here at Monarch Motor Speedway. you will now see them go into a four wide salute. We ask from you to stand up and wave and give the drivers all of your support as they head down into turn number three. Ladies and gentlemen, you wanted the best sprint cars in Texas. You're going to get the Texas Sprint Series Invitational here at Monarch Motor Speedway. Four wide. For you tonight. What a beautiful sight. Four wide sprint cars through the racing surface. They appreciate you. Without you, there would be no Texas Sprint Series. As these drivers make their way down the back stretch, we'll start to get them back lined up and ready to go racing. It is time to do battle in the Texas Sprint Series. They're going to show you one more time. You gotta love it whenever you have equal rows of four all the way through. Sometimes. When we do a four wide sweep, there's a couple stragglers there at the back, but you see those top four all the way through. It's, it's a beautiful sight. Five men will get through undergo signal. It is time to go racing. The Haunted 100. Texas Sprint Series Invitational. Pick your driver if you have a checkered flag they gave you earlier. That's your driver tonight. That's who you're rooting for. The Haunted 100. 20 laps, 20 cars. Who is it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? We're about to find out. This is what you saved your pocket change for. Off turn number two.
update from Mr. Howell as he will go around and turn number four, bringing out your first caution. Jeff Sessoms is your leader, then will be the number 14, Dia Pondi. Now the better up in that third spot. And then will be Claude Estes. Jim Anderson, Lucas Sheridan, Austin Saunders, and Chris Kelly. Your top eight. And then Michelle Parsons on the move. The 31 J of Joshua Hart in your top ten. Parson up from that 13th spot. She is into the top 10. Logan Sherb started 17th. <coughs> he is up in that 12th spot. He is also trying to make some moves. That is your 2020 Texas Sprint Series champion in that white number 18. Like I said earlier, him coming from the back is like seeing Tony shots in a B feature. You don't see it very often. this up into his actual position then lineup is set Jeb Sessoms your race leader caution light going out you're going green inching through three and four Sessoms Jason Howell. So Jeff Sasson continues to lead as they separate the drivers up there in turn number three. the first truck making for some interesting racing here in the A feature.
get the car and set one in. The next time, Carlo will be able to continue. Dave now takes it to the pits. In one of those days of the number 44. Signal. We're going to go green next time by. The Sherb cars, I do believe that is Logan Sherb. And the points champion's night has just gone from bad to worse. Driver is okay. He has told our people he is okay as he climbs out of the car. Well, the good news is he has locked up the points championship, but the bad news is he is upside down. So they've got the number 18 on the hook and they're going to try to get this thing going once again.
So as we went to the red flag, Jeff Emerson has ca had caught Jeff Sessoms for the race lead. And now he will start right on the tail of that 01. We will see if he's got anything for him on this restart. Looks like Zachary Patterson also with problems in that number 93. So they have given the call to fire off the cars. They're going to get them started up again. Drivers are going to get lined back up. They're going to go back to racing once again. We have 13 out of the schedule 20 in the books. Jeff Sesson, the restart with Jeff Emerson. Right behind him. Found a better week of shirt and a lot of fun and more time to come. Chris Kelly, silently moving. He was up in the sixth position.
should be Jeff Simpson's Jeff Emerson, Robert Vetter. Lucas Short, 14 of a Robert Byron, Chris Kelly, John Dickens. As they get a couple of spots sorted out, we are going single file as the number 41M gets into position. Langman going to give him the one to go signal. We're going to go green next time by. He got together with that number 18 uh, up in turn two. I think he broke his steering rod. Jeff Sesson is going to lead him back around. Will Jeff Emerson get anything out of this car? coming from your race leader.
Paul Diaz is pulling off in the infield. 17 out of a scheduled 20 in the books. Yeah, no problem. He was running Since pretty good. That car's was blowing up before we went to caution. If he can nurse it home here and keep that race win, it will be one for the ages. Kleinman gets the one to go signal. We're going to go green next time. surface. Ladies and gentlemen, the car was blowing up and he had to nurse it to second. Jeff Emerson gets the win.